there, welcome back. Lacey here with The Sweet Pea Chef, and I have a fun video to share with you today. The folks at The Home Depot and Weber sent me a really awesome Weber Spirit 2 propane grill, asked me to check it out, see what I thought about it, and share it with you guys. So I figured what better way to check out and test a grill than to do a week's worth of meal prep. So I'm gonna show you how to grill protein and veggies and squash for our week's worth of a fall themed meal prep. It's gonna be really tasty and a really great healthy way to enjoy fall flavors and grill. So if you thought grilling was just for the summer and was just for those backyard summer barbecues, sit back, relax, and enjoy watching all of the tastiness that you can do during the fall and the holidays. All right, let's get started. So I have to tell you, when I was approached about getting a Weber grill to check out and to see if I liked it, I knew immediately that it was something I wanted to do. I have literally only owned Weber grills. I've had four of them in my lifetime as an adult, and I love them. They're affordable, they grill really evenly, they have even heating, which is very important, and they're so durable and they last a really long time. So I already knew I was really gonna enjoy it. This grill is no different really awesome and they have all sorts of different sizes so you can pick the size that's right for you at an affordable price so very cool so for our fall meal prep protein we're gonna be making an apple cider grilled chicken recipe that is really tasty and very very easy so either in a gallon size sealable bag or a large mixing bowl we're going to make our marinade for our chicken so add some olive oil freshly squeezed lemon juice apple cider vinegar, chopped fresh Italian parsley, chopped fresh rosemary, minced garlic, sea salt, ground black pepper, and then whisk this all together. Then we're gonna add in our boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and then we're gonna toss everything around to make sure it gets nicely coated. Then you wanna transfer this into the fridge. We're looking for it to marinate at least 30 minutes. It can go overnight, up to eight hours if you want it but at least 30 minutes is gonna really get that flavor in there and it's gonna make it a juicier chicken. So while that is going, we can get other stuff ready for our meal prep. Another thing that we should do right now because it has to sit a while is to start soaking our cashews. We're gonna be using them blended in a sauce later and it's so tasty. So we need to get them nice and soft by soaking them. So we're gonna pour some boiling hot water over raw cashews and we're gonna let that set. We're looking for it to set for at least an hour. If you don't have that kind of time, you can always replace this step with some plain Greek yogurt or something, but I'm gonna show you how to make this into a very nice creamy sauce, so it's gonna be super tasty. So our meal prep is gonna include a bunch of fall flavors, and you can assemble that however you want later on, and I like to turn it into a bowl. So I'm going to be making a base for that bowl, and typically some quinoa or some steamed brown rice are both really good options. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make some quinoa, and then we're gonna store that later so you can assemble it later for a bowl. So in a saucepan, we're gonna start heating it over medium high heat, then we're gonna add in some uncooked quinoa and some water, then we're gonna stir that together. We wanna to bring this to a boil, and then we're going to add a lid reduce it to a simmer, and then just let it set until the liquid is all absorbed by the quinoa, and the quinoa starts to get really puffy. That means it's tender and ready to eat, so what you need to do is just fluff it with a fork and then set it aside. That whole process usually takes about 20 to 25 minutes. Next, we're going to prep our butternut squash and get it all ready to be grilled. Butternut squash is really amazing, has a lot of great flavor and nutrients, and it is very abundant during the fall. So you know we gotta add it to our fall meal prep. So in order to prep it, what we need to do is slice off both ends with a knife, and then you can discard those ends. And then the skin on a butternut squash isn't edible, so you wanna remove all of that, either using a paring knife or a vegetable peeler. Then lay your butternut squash flat, and we're going to basically slice half inch slices all the way through until you're all the way to the end. And some of these slices are gonna have a little bit of strings and seeds. To remove those, just use a small paring knife and just kind of scrape it along the center and then you can just discard all those extra pieces. We will not be doing anything with those. We just need the butternut squash. 
Now set your butternut squash slices aside while we prep our sweet potatoes. And for sweet potatoes, I like leaving my skin on them. I'm gonna just like with the butternut squash, remove the ends of the sweet potatoes. And then instead of slicing these into slices, I'm gonna actually divide it into wedges because I really like how that looks when it's grilled and it's really tasty and just a fun way to cook sweet potatoes. A typical medium-sized sweet potato will probably yield you about six to eight wedges. Then repeat with the remaining sweet potatoes and then set those into a bowl. For both our butternut squash slices and our sweet potato wedges, I'm gonna show you one olive oil garlic sauce that is very easy to make. It spreads across both of them very nicely, yet the different flavors in the butternut squash and the sweet potato make them have a completely different flavor once they're grilled. So it's really easy, and I'm all about making meal prep easy. So all you have to do is, in a small mixing bowl, combine some olive oil, minced garlic, sea salt and black pepper, and then whisk that together. See, I told you, it's so easy. Then we're gonna take that mixture and we're gonna brush it over both sides of our butternut squash slices. And then we're gonna take the remainder of that sauce and we're going to drizzle it over our sweet potato wedges and then toss those to combine. Once you have your sweet potato wedges nicely tossed and coated and you have your butternut squash slices all ready and prepped, Set those aside, we are gonna work on our Brussels sprouts. If you've never had grilled Brussels sprouts, I think you're in for a treat. The way that the flavors just really deepen and become a little bit sweet and so tasty on the grill is just awesome. So to prep our Brussels sprouts, what we wanna do is slice the ends off and then we're gonna slice them in half. And you can remove any of those extra outer layers that happen to fall off because those are gonna fall into our grill. We don't need those there. So get all of your Brussels sprouts ready to go. And then I like using a skewer and I skewer all of the Brussels sprouts in a row. So I'm gonna basically skewer all of my Brussels sprouts all the way through. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space in between and I like to have them all facing the same way so they don't get all stuck together. And if you crowd them all together, they won't really cook very evenly. You might have part of it charred and part of it uncooked. If you don't have skewers, you can always just put these in kind of like a plate of tin foil and then place that onto the grill. I like the skewers because it has direct heat from the grill and it has nice char marks. Either way is fine, they're both gonna be tasty. Next, I'm gonna show you a really easy and tasty balsamic vinegar honey glaze that we're gonna put over our Brussels sprouts. It's gonna make them even better, so good. So in a small mixing bowl, we're gonna combine some balsamic vinegar, olive oil, raw honey, Dijon mustard, and sea salt. And then we're just gonna basically mix that together until it's nicely smooth and emulsified. Then you're just gonna drizzle that over the Brussels sprouts. You might need to kind of dab it a little bit here and there to make sure the Brussels sprouts get nicely coated. And then those are ready for our grill. So we have all of our stuff prepped. We have our chicken marinated. We have our sweet potatoes and our butternut squash ready to go. And now we have our Brussels sprouts ready. So now it is time to head outside and get our grill started. So just like when you're cooking in your oven, you wanna preheat your grill. So I have my Weber grill preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a great temperature to have everything cooked at outside and when you open up the lid, a little bit of the heat is gonna come out so you'll have it kind of go away, but then when you close it again, it's gonna maintain that heat and you want it to stay around 350 degrees. We'll start off by adding our chicken in a row on our grill. We wanna make sure that it's over direct heat so it gets those nice tasty grill marks and it gets all that seasoned deliciousness all seared on in there. Next to that, we're gonna add our butternut squash slices and then, because we have a little bit of extra space, I'm gonna start my sweet potato wedges. As many of them that will fit is fine. So we're gonna cook these over our direct heat for about six to eight minutes to let everything get nicely cooked. It's gonna start to have those grill lines. And as soon as you see that, it's gonna be time to flip those on over. So go ahead and flip over our chicken and we're gonna repeat that for another six to eight minutes until it's nicely cooked through and you've got grill marks and that delicious golden looking goodness all over your chicken. Then we're gonna do the same with our butternut squash slices. We're gonna flip them on over once they have those nice grill lines. For this, we're gonna cook another six to eight minutes as well. We're looking for the butternut squash to become tender and have that nice grill mark on both sides. 
That's gonna be when you know that they are ready to remove from the grill. Then the same goes for our sweet potatoes. Go ahead and flip them on over. You can either use tongs or your fingers, it's up to you. We want those grill marks on both sides. We want everything to be nicely tender. Once you have those nice grill marks and the chickens cooked through and the butternut squash is tender, you can remove all of that and set it aside. Next, we're gonna add our Brussels sprouts that have our balsamic honey glaze on them. We're gonna spread them out evenly on the grill. You wanna make sure that you're going across the grates rather than with the grates so that you get that nice grill line. We're also gonna add the remainder of our sweet potato wedges. And then we're gonna close our lid, let everything cook for a good six minutes or so until they have those nice grill lines. It's looking tender and then you flip everything over, the Brussels sprouts and the sweet potatoes. And then we're gonna cook for another four to six minutes with our lid closed. And what we wanna do is when everything is nicely tender and you have those char marks on there and it looks just absolutely delicious, then you can just remove those from the grill as well and you can set those aside. While our final round of veggies is on the grill, we can go ahead and get our cashew apple cider dressing started. This dressing is so easy and creamy and delicious and good for you. So in order to get started, we need to get our cashews that have been soaked and then we need to drain them and rinse them off. Then we're gonna add those to a blender. We're gonna follow that up with chopped shallots, apple cider vinegar, some Dijon mustard, raw honey, olive oil, sea salt, ground cinnamon, and a little bit of water. Then we're gonna blend this until it's really, really smooth. You wanna make sure that you break down all those cashews. Because we soaked it, it should be pretty easy, but just make sure that it's not like grainy. You wanna make sure it's very smooth. You are not gonna believe how the cashews turn into this delicious, creamy, luscious texture. What we're looking for here is for the dressing to be pretty thin so that you can drizzle it over your bowl. If it's a little bit too thick, you can add in a little bit more water as needed. And like I said before, when we were soaking our cashews, if you have a nut allergy or you don't want to soak your cashews, you can always replace that with some Greek yogurt. You'll still get that creamy consistency. It won't be quite as nutty and not as awesome, but it'll definitely work and it'll definitely be tasty and you can enjoy it if you have a nut allergy. Okay, so now we have our veggies and our chicken ready to go and looking delicious thanks to our Weber grill. We have our cashew apple cider vinegar dressing ready to go and we have our quinoa. That means we are ready to assemble our meal prep. What I'm gonna show you is actually how to do a buffet style meal prep. So we're not gonna actually do individual portions for this. Instead, we're gonna take each of our pieces that we've put together today and we're gonna store it individually. What I love about this is that way you can just go and grab whatever pieces you like. It's all ready to go and just needs to be reheated. So you just grab what you want, put it together and you have a bowl that you can customize no matter how you like it. This works really well also if you have certain family members that don't wanna have certain pieces or if you're like me, you like to just put everything together and you typically are adding all of it in there <laughs> and you wanna just have a delicious looking bowl that you get to assemble that day. So that means you can really put your meal together however you want and however you prefer. Personally, I like to make some harvest quinoa bowls, and so let me show you how I do that. I start off with my quinoa in a bowl, and then I top that with the grilled butternut squash, our grilled Brussels sprouts, some of the grilled sweet potato wedges, some of that sliced grilled apple cider chicken, and I do slice the chicken ahead of time so that it reheats faster. That way you're not heating up the entire chicken and overcooking some of it. If you have them sliced into thin slices, it's gonna be much easier to reheat and it won't overcook your chicken. And then I like to top that with a few dried cranberries that either are unsweetened or have very minimal sweetening to them and some raw pepitas. And then of course we have to drizzle over our delicious cashew apple cider dressing that just brings everything together and it's so tasty. So in addition to just having delicious looking grilled food, because there's something about grilling food that just makes it look so tasty with those grill lines, we also are able to save ourselves a lot of extra batter and fats and flours and all that kind of stuff using a grill. 
So this grilled meal prep using our Weber grill is so easy to make and so tasty and just like the perfect representation of fall in a bowl. I just love how the flavors come together. It's so filling and nourishing and just so tasty. Thanks so much to Weber and The Home Depot for sponsoring this recipe and for sending me this really awesome Weber grill to share with you guys. It was so great to use it for our autumn meal prep recipe video and to show you just how versatile Weber grills can be. You can check out how to get your own Weber grill using the links below at The Home Depot. I highly recommend them. They are super awesome and I hope you enjoy the meal prep recipe video that I shared with you and that you subscribe so you never miss new weekly recipe videos. But also, I wanna know what is your favorite recipe or food to grill during the holidays? Send it in the comments below and say hi and I would love to read it. Thank you so much, I'll see you next time, bye-bye.